I went into orthopedic surgery because I love to build things. When I was a kid, I'd build model airplanes. A model airplane is something that is really an elegant balance between form and, and function. And you want this thing to fly, and if you make it too heavy, it doesn't fly very well. My expectations uh, for patients before surgery uh, center primarily around education. I, I want an educated patient. I want a patient that's knowledgeable about the, the care that they're about to receive and the, the surgery they're about to have. Uh, I find that an educated patient is someone who can uh, make, a, make a good decision about what will help them and make them feel better and also uh, will help them understand the process of, of surgery as they, as they go through it. My favorite part about orthopedic surgery, the creativity that's required in a set amount of time that's in the operative theater. Decisions that are made in a very uh, finite amount of time and outcomes reflect that. And so I do enjoy that, the challenging environment that surgery is. I also very much enjoy the interaction that I get to have with patients as a physician. And uh, there is a lot of uh, orthopedic need and so a lot of orthopedic problems. Uh, very few subspecialties in medicine get to help cure the disease as effectively as orthopedics. A bone broken, arthritis a present in a knee, a surgery or even sometimes conservative treatment will resolve that problem completely. That's very satisfying as a physician to see a patient and, and see them go from hurting and not performing well or functioning well to healed and feeling much better. One of the most incredible advancements that we've had and that we've seen even in the last couple of uh, months and years is uh, the, uh, the issues of pain management around the time of surgery. A total hip would stay in the hospital anywhere from three to four days. Managing pain more effectively now with a multimodal pain uh, pr approach. I'm finding that patients stay in the hospital a day, sometimes go home even the day of surgery. As a general orthopedic surgeon, I take care of issues uh, that range uh, the full spectrum. My subspecialty interest in, in uh, total joint replacement um, has been something that uh, I, I have brought uh, to Coeur d'Alene. Uh, I enjoy uh, hip replacement, knee replacement, and uh, also total shoulder replacement. Revision surgery uh, I find challenging, and uh, I enjoy that as well. I use the anterior approach with hip replacement. Some of the benefits of the anterior approach uh, are that it is a muscle sparing uh, surgery. So when you approach the femur uh, from the front or the anterior uh, direction, you're able to go between muscle intervals that, are, that exist normally in, in the human body. This allows you to do the hip replacement without detaching those muscles from the bones. Uh, when you do that, you have a decreased risk of, uh, of limp, uh, you can get the leg length more accurately and the risk of dislocation is also significantly reduced. For each of these reasons, I find the direct anterior approach to be very beneficial for a certain you know, patient subset. Accessibility is a big deal uh, for me and I feel that patients need to be able to get in to see their physician if they have questions or they have issues with their, uh, you know, with, or an orthopedic uh, complaint. Uh, one of the ways that we do that is I work closely with mid-levels or advanced practice professionals. That's a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner. We have both in this clinic and, and that's really important. I believe access to care uh, is actually probably the fundamental issue that we deal with other than being able to communicate the diagnosis effectively with the patient. The promises that I can deliver on uh, as a physician for you are one, I'll always be honest with you, and two, I won't abandon you. And those two things, coupled with an understanding of the relationship that you have, really the foundation of that relationship, uh, makes for happy patients.